All right, Alex Stevenson here with another M12 Swiss draft, and we opened a Soren Markov. Um, just to start off, he's worth three tickets, just to let you know. So I, I'm pretty sure he's just the pick here. Um, this is a good pack, though. Gorhorn Mantar, Vampire Outcast, um, Devouring Swarm, Salt Griffin, Dusk Hunter Bat a little bit, Phantasmal Dragon. All those cards are good. Uh, we're gonna take a Soren Markov. Um, Obviously, it's pretty uh, black committal, but um, he's good. I like Soren. I've gotten a chance to play him in a draft before. And uh, once again, worth three tickets, so being worth three tickets is good. And we got a pretty good follow-up pick there in the Singer Vampire, who is also a very powerful card and usually a first pick. Um, we're going to be passing a Chandra's Outrage here, which is... The I would say obvious second pick, and then we have another devouring swarm. Um, yep, singer vampire here. He's good. Okay, well, um, here I think I'm absolutely fine picking the Arachnus Spinner. Uh, he's a very powerful card, and if you get one Arachnus web, he pays off. Um, I'm really surprised he's third pick here. I guess. If there was like a mind control and a fireball, maybe or something like that, but uh, no, Arachna Spinner is a very powerful card. And even if I don't play green, um, splashing for a five-seven reach is actually I I think it's legitimate. Um, here, let's see, could just go for the uh, Blood Rage Vampire. Um, I think that's probably a pretty safe bet. Um, keep us some black. I mean, we could take the bear, which is also a very good card. Um, you know, we might not even play the Arachnus Spinner, but um, I'd like to. I, I, I actually believe it's splash worthy. Even without the Arachnus Web, it, getting a 6 mana 5-7 reach is very good. Um, I, so I actually, I actually think I like the bear more than I like the Blood Rage Vampire. I don't feel like I'm going to be too hurt if I end up missing out on a Blood Rage Vampire. Um, do I want the bear or the Blood Rage? I think I'm actually going to take the Phantasmal Bear here. Open our options up a little bit. I like doing that. Okay, well, um, here we have some choices, and it's between the Aether Adept, if we want to... This is like where we start picking a direction, or the Jade Mage. Um, I actually think I like Jade Mage more than I like Aether Adept. And that makes our Arachnus Spinner a little bit more realistic. Um, so we'll pick the Jade Mage here. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, I mean, we could just take another bear. I think that's probably the best pick. Um, Taking bears, even if we don't end up playing them, just taking them away for our opponents is fine. And, you know, we could actually end up playing the bears. We're not going to splash for them, but uh, if I got enough bears, I I would probably trade out the bears for the uh, the Jade Mage. I'd probably be okay with that. That's a, what is that, a seventh pick shock? That's uh, it's pretty unbelievable, actually. Um... Could take the Garrick's Companion, but uh, we're already going to be black heavy. Um, I think I'm actually going to take the Shock here, just get that away from our opponents. I think I like that. This is first pack, so we're just keeping some options open here. We're obviously going to need the Rampant Growth because I, I we might end up be we might end up doing a three color thing. Um, I mean, I'm prepared to dump a color at any point. We are, obviously, we have four colors right now, um, but we're at first pack, so it's not a huge problem. Uh, we'll take the Rampant Growth. That's, that's a fairly safe pick. Um, here, I think we'll just take the, uh, the Runeclaw Bear. Um, I, I think we're going to have to play the Rampant Growth, so we're going to definitely do green-black probably disregard the bear strategy. I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, is there any of this stuff that I'm scared of? Uh, I think I'll actually just take the rare. It's not uh, worth much, but 
I'm actually not even that scared of Negate, even though it can take out our Soren Markov. Uh, I found Negate just not to be that great, not to be very good in uh, drafts. It's only, it's like okay. I'd rather just get the like rare that's not worth much, sell it later, get some more tickets for these drafts. Uh, we'll take the Naturalize here. Naturalize is a great card. Main deckable, in my opinion. Hide the Reverberate. Um, so we only have two black cards right now, but they're both highly playable black cards. Um, hopefully we'll pick up some... Uh, Arachnus Web would be ideal. Make the spinner that much better. Um, I don't have to play the Soren Markov, but getting a Soren and a Singer strongly makes me want to uh, play those two colors. Uh, we'll take a Cancel here. I think it's just better than Negate. Those are really late negates. Um, we'll let our opponents play Taste of Blood. We'll hide these for now. Um, I still want to stick it out with black and green, I'm thinking. I, I don't know why I'm leaving the bears up. I mean, there's a chance. Uh, what did I lose out for one bear? I lost the, oh my god, Flame Bias Dragon. Well could take another Singer Vampire, but Flame Blast Dragon is extremely powerful card. Probably one of the best bombs you can get. Um, we are going to be a, I think we're just going to be a pretty bomb heavy deck. Um, mm, 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 mm. Could take the s second Singer, that's good too, but I, I we're only on. We're at the beginning of the second pack. I'm gonna take Flame Blast Dragon. I'm. That's like. I I c cannot pass him. He is just that good. Incredibly good card. Um. Here, well, a pacifism, but that would be our fifth color, so we can't do that. Um. Here, I think the Stinger Fling, definitely a main deckable card, and Killing Flyers, yeah. And we're already in green. Stinger Fling is just fine. And it happens to work with Arachnus Spinner if we got some Arachnus Webs, which I hope we get. i um, really looking for those Arachnus Webs. Um, here I think I'll take the Jade Mage again. T uh, multiple Jade Mages, I, I have no problem with that. These are cards that just can really uh, cause some problems for your opponent. Um, mm, this pack is not so great. Um, I suppose we could take the Bell Tower Sphinx and probably just rob that from our opponents. Um, I think that's probably the... I think that's the best card in the pack, so we'll take the Bell Tower Sphinx. Um, God, it still looks like blue's open, but... I still want to play my black cards, too. This is tough. I'm not exactly sure. I think the best card here is probably the Aether Adept. Um... I might even move out of black, even though I would be losing Soren Markov, Singer Vampire. We'll just keep this going how it is. Start taking. We already have we have three good blue cards, so we could move out of black or we could move out of blue. Until then, we'll just sort of. Um, I don't know. Take the take the best cards here. We might just do blue here and take the Aether Adept which lets us get to our bigger things. We didn't even have a three drop yet, yeah. This deck is certainly weird and interesting right now. Um, here I think the pick is probably just the Sacred Wolf. Um, we could use another two drop, but um, let's just get a lot of green. And Sacred Wolf is just fine anyway. Um, huh. Take a second, naturalize. I think that's fine. Could take the Amphin Cutthroat. Um, that lets us get to our bigger bombs. I think actually this looks like it might be a Cutthroat deck if we're doing blue. Um, we might have at this point just completely moved out of black. Just disregard our Markov and Singer Vampire. Um, I think this looks like a Cutthroat deck. We want to hold the fort for our dudes. Yeah, it looks like we might just be moving into blue here. We're not really seeing anything. It's too special. We want. We're gonna need some cheaper stuff. 
Um, I'm fine with playing a second infant cutthroat. This looks like it's pretty heavy infant cutthroat deck. Uh, that's a extremely late uh, Greater Basilisk, which I find to be a very powerful card. Um, we're our, our, we're pretty green heavy, so and we're gonna need some more cheap drops. So we'll take the Garrick Companion. I think at this point we're just straight up out of black. So do I have any removal? I have Shock, Stinger Fling, Flame Blast Dragon. This is a Aether Depth's not really removal, but slows our opponents. This uh, is a little bit troublesome, and we haven't gotten a single. Um, We'll take the Distant Tomb. Uh, we haven't gotten a single... Uh, I guess we'll take Burning Bore. What am I saying? We haven't gotten a single like uh, targeted removal yet, like Arachnus Web or Ice Cages at this point is fine. Um, we're we're going to be doing the... Uh, I mean, I think we're just... We're done with black. We have two black cards. So we're going to be splashing for the red. So we're rocking Shock and... Oh my god, we just opened a Grave Titan. <laughs> Oh, man, talk about a bomby deck. Well, the Grave Titan's worth tickets, so let's show all. So uh, maybe we're back into black. This is weird. This is weird. Uh, yeah, I mean, Soren Singer Grave Titan is extremely good. Grave Titan just wins games. Um, we are in, uh, our deck is really bizarre. I'm not quite sure what we're doing. Um, well, uh, I think Incinerate's fine here, because I still plan on playing the Flame Blast Dragon and the Shock, so Incinerate's fine. Could take the Rootbound Crag for fixing, but Incinerate's extremely powerful. This is, uh... I'm gonna be doing some weird stuff with this deck, I'll tell you that much. Oh my god, a Soren's Vengeance too? Um, I mean, these black cards, and I have like, this does, this deck's not even gonna make sense. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna approach this deck. I have to pick like every rampant growth now that I see. Um, I think I'm gonna take the Soren's Vengeance here. I mean, these cards are so powerful. These black cards are so powerful. Okay, well, now, okay, we're just straight up looking for cheap things now. Now we're just looking for cheap cards. Is Jade Mage an elf? No, it's a human. Okay, cheap cards. Cheap creature cards, specifically. This is really important. Um, and we're, like, out of blue at this point, maybe. I think we're, like... This is like the weirdest deck I think I've ever made. Um, I think our, uh, actually Archdruid is the pick here because he's ramp, which we have none of. And he's a cheap creature otherwise. Could do the bat, but I, th I think I like the Archdruid more. Um, God, I really don't know exactly how I'm going to be doing this deck. I am uh, certainly confused exactly how I'm going to go about doing this deck. Well, we got the Arachnus Web, so uh, certainly going to go go to the spinner and its removal. Fury, what is Furyborn Hellkite this late? I I can't play. I cannot play that bomb. Look how many. Look at these bombs. This is unbelievable. Um, we're taking the web there. Uh, I I I really want it to go with the spinner. Um, I'm not gonna see another one. Yeah, I just passed an unbelievable bomb. Uh, I I guess I have an out to it, so that's good. Yeah, I know that's really strange. This is uh. I keep saying it because it's true. This is an unbelievable deck. This is just absolutely unbelievable. Here are the giant spiders to pick. Um, I am unsure how we're going to be holding our opponents off. This is going to be trouble. I'm almost tempted to take the Glade cover here just to have something that trades with cheap guys. But uh, I think I'm going to take the Plummet. Just get cheaper move. I like Plummet. Main deckable card. Um, we're not going to be... I think we're just straight up out of blue now. I'm I'm willing to lose the blue for the amount of black bombs that we have so yeah we're still doing three color these are gone this is gone um, here we'll take the I take the brindle bore I feel like we just need to survive you know what I mean um, well we don't have much four drops so we'll take the 
rough and sentinel there. I think that's fine. I really don't think that we need a seven drop. Um, but I guess it's like the best card in here. We definitely don't care if our opponents plays Harbor Serpent. Could take the cancel. Um, I, th I think we'll just take the Carnage Worm. Not gonna play it, but I'm I'm not. Uh, I I guess I I probably should have taken the cancel there for the control deck. You know, cancel's not always played though, so I'm not like you you know extremely worried about that. Certainly don't care if our opponents play Pride Guardian. We have so many six drops already. We'll take a Chasm Drake away from our opponent. Um, we'll take another Basilisk. Cause yeah, cause yeah, this is uh just the strangest deck. Um, I guess Flash Freeze is like good against us. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna play either of those two cards. I don't need the Manic Vandal. I've got the Naturalize. Um, Flash Freeze is just good against our. We got a lot of heavy green stuff. Um, do we have enough cheap creatures? This is a. This deck has started to worry me. <laughs> um, as it should. Look at how black intensive our black bombs are. This is... Alright, well, I'm gonna have to be doing some mathematics here to make this <laughs> mana work. This is a... just a strange deck. Well, on the upside, um, I could lose all three of my matches, and I have a Grave Titan and a Sword Markov, so uh, at the very least, I'm... I've already made money, I think. I have to look up how much... I should know how much Grave Titan's worth, but I, I actually don't know. Um, okay, so here's our <laughs> black bombs. Basically, a uh, splash for black, but uh, it's not a splash because these are you can't have three black and splash. So I, for our green cards, we're playing we're pretty much playing jade mages as goblin pikers because our our mana is going to be all messed up. Um, we're, this is a rune claw bear deck. We just don't have enough cheap creatures. Uh, we certainly a rampant growth deck. I would have liked to have seen another one. Uh, which is, I guess we'll just put everything in. I, I'm pretty positive we're playing uh, uh, Brindlebore 2. We just don't have enough cheap stuff. For now we'll put in the Basilisk, do the Arachnus Spinner. Um, I, I still think we want to do the Archdruid. We don't have a lot, of, we don't have a ton of ramps. Probably Sacred Wolf. Uh, maybe Rusted Sentinel. He's, you know, actually uh, I'm not sure this is a Rusted Sentinel deck. Um, he's more for um, aggro, I would say. He, he's just not defensive. In that, it, like, Amphan Cutthroat is much more defensive than Rusted Sentinel. Just because it comes into play untapped, it's that much better. Uh, I'd like to play all these. So we're at 22 now. All right, let's see. Uh, well, I guess this looks okay. It's You know, honestly, this deck is going to be total mana issue problem is the main thing that we have to deal with. I actually think this is a... 18 land deck um, because of how intensive our uh, bombs are and additionally because it doesn't hurt to have extra mana for our jade mages um, I actually think this is an 18 land deck and I think I'm gonna have to be happy with that um, so let's, let's see what they suggest yeah I think I need at least six swamps, honestly, and I feel like I need at least like four mountains. So if I wanted to do like six, four, uh, eight, six, four, eight, let's pile by color. I actually think the converted mana cost is decent. How many two drop creatures do we have? We have four two drop creatures, and then three three drop creatures, one four drop. Um, yeah, it's okay. I like to pull our removal aside and just take a look at that real quick. Um, I think that's well. This is like a non-creature, I guess. Sword Markov's like removal. Um, yeah, this is a extremely strange deck. Six swamps. I'm going to be trying to play Soren Markov. Oh, man. This is going to be a tough deck to navigate if I'm holding a Soren and a Soren's Vengeance with no Swamps to play. Um, that's going to be trouble. 
this is a very strange deck. Um, I still think 18 lands is just fine. We have some good defenders actually. The Stinger Fling, the Giant Spider, the Spinner, plus Arachnus Web, two Basilisks. Um, we have these cheap dudes. Um, this deck is... yeah, this deck's gonna be weird. Uh, 6, 4, 8. I think that's okay. Maybe I want to do seven, three, eight. I really do need to get three. Ugh, this is tough. I'm not sure. I think we're gonna have to be happy with six, four, eight. Eighteen lands makes it a little more acceptable. I really feel like because Flame Blast is double red, we need to play four mountains. The rampant growth is, I, I, you know, I really wish I'd gotten a man with that would have helped uh, tremendously with this deck. Um, what did I pick over the? Oh, I picked a grave titan over the one man with I saw. I think, um, yeah, I, I think we're just gonna have to do six, four, eight, and be happy with that. Uh, this is probably the most bomb intensive deck I've maybe ever played. I'm not sure. I mean. We have some tremendous bombs, but this is the most uh, mana unstable deck I've also ever played. So um, we'll see how it goes. This is, a room this is definitely a Runeclaw Bear deck. He is going to be holding down the fort. So uh, I'll see you round one, and let's hope this does some cool stuff.